What's going on everyone? My name is Vince from Life of Vince Lee, and today I am finally coming back with a new jiu-jitsu video. And every single Friday moving forward for the foreseeable future, I promise to you all that I will publish a jiu-jitsu related video. With that being said, in today's video, I asked all the belt levels, everything from white to black, if they could give some pieces of advice to those just starting off on their jiu-jitsu journey or new white belts, what advice would they give? And here are their answers. And my tip is basically just to show up. As a brand new white belt, you're gonna feel completely out of your depth. You're gonna feel stupid. The techniques might not make sense to you, but as long as you show up, you consistently show up, and you don't take days off when you're healthy, just because you're not feeling up to it, just keep showing up, because sometimes when you feel like things are really crappy, and you don't feel like going, but you actually drag yourself onto the mats, you'll forget that you ever felt that way after the class. So just show up, pay attention, and inevitably you will get better. And my bonus tip is wash your gi with OxyClean. It's the best thing for removing stains, especially blood, and it will have your gi nice and clean before all your classes. And bonus, bonus, try and get in a tournament if you can, especially at white belt, because then you will really see what your jujitsu and your judo is like in an adrenaline setting, especially when you got people watching, you got people yelling, and the juices are flowing. It's a really great way to just really calibrate your jujitsu in a really high energy environment. My advice to others that are white belts or just getting started with off with jujitsu is to remember position over submission and to get a mat so you can practice with your significant. If I could give a couple pieces of advice to a new white belt, I would say don't get discouraged. Everyone says that, but treat each day like a new day. Come in and train. You're going to get your butt kicked. It's just the way it is. But one day, one thing's going to click and everything's going to make sense. And honestly, even now, I'm still getting my butt kicked, but I do have good days. So look for the positives. Just keep showing up. Train with everyone. You can learn from anyone. White belt, black belt, whatever. Any size, any gender, whatever. Train with everyone, don't be afraid. Um, if you have the desire, compete. Okay. I think competing is one of the best ways to test yourself and learn new things. Not everyone wants to, but if you do have the desire, do it. Uh, don't look up your opponents. That is like one of the biggest things I can say. Don't look them up, freak yourself out. Show up to the competition, go through your normal routine as if you were just going to practice. Like drink the same amount of water you would, Hydrate the same, eat the same, all that. Warm up hard like you just rolled. And just go out there and compete. It'll get easier. First time competing, scary. But I think it really helps my game personally. Um, other than that, just keep training, keep showing up, do your best, and you'll love it. If I had to give a few pieces of advice to those just first starting off on their jiu-jitsu journey or white belt, I would say come in with the mindset of a student. Your goal should be to be a sponge and learn as much as you can. Also, don't worry about that belt color because at the end of the day, the mats don't lie. So you don't necessarily want to be in a rush to get to that next level when you're not ready for it. When you're ready for it, your professor or your coach will let you know. If I were to give three pieces of advice uh, to someone starting out in jiu-jitsu or white belt, I would start with rolling with a purpose or rolling with a goal in mind. Uh, even so much as to go picking your partners, uh, say the first person who absolutely just crushes you, decimates you. And the second person is maybe someone who's pretty much on the same level as you. And then the third person maybe is a lot newer than you and you're a little bit better than. And each one of those rolling sessions should have a goal in mind whether that's, you know, don't get tapped in under a minute, or just try to get tapped three times, or trying to work on your defense. Let, hold this person in your guard and don't let them get away. Um, once that role is over, the second piece of advice is to ask for feedback. And that can be as simple as just asking for feedback, or saying, you know, why did you catch me in X, or why did I keep tapping to Y? Or was there something that I did really well? And you know you can take that feedback and learn the third lesson, which is how to take a compliment. A lot of people from white to black have a really hard time taking a compliment and, and listening to praise. 
Everything in jujitsu is earned. Jujitsu is hard. There's a lot of negativity that can happen in your mind and really get you down on your own skills and your own progress. So when someone does offer a compliment or praise, take it and say thank you. Don't downplay the, the compliment and say, oh no, I'm terrible, I'm never gonna be good. You don't know what you're talking about. I promise you, if that person gave you a compliment, you deserved it and you earned it. So say something like, thank you, I appreciate your feedback. And feel good about what you've accomplished because jujitsu is a game of inches and progression is a game of inches as well. So some advice that I'd give to white belts, uh, one thing I'd say is that train every technique or learn every technique and drill every technique because I think a lot of times when you start you kind of run into something and you're like I can't do that and you stop there and you come back to it maybe later or you forget about it but when you find something that you feel like you can't do address what the problem is try to look for what's inhibiting you from being able to do that technique like if it's flexibility or strength and then work on those weaknesses and then try to move forward from there um, I think a lot of times it's not that white belts will give up but because they're so new to the art they kind of pick and choose what they think they can do or they they see what they can do and they focus on those things and then kind of sweep under the rug what they aren't able to do as of technique and, um, and those things. So try to face it right away and figure out what you're missing that would um, that you need to learn so that you can move forward and um, learn that technique. Another thing I would say is um, study the art and understand the why you're doing moves. Sometimes we just become like copycats and we'll see a move, we'll drill it and we'll do it, but we don't really understand the concept. So jujitsu is mainly about concepts like for example, passing guard, like you're trying to get rid of the legs and pass to the hips, like why are you doing these moves? Like why are you moving the way that you do? Find out the why so that you understand the concept. Or for example, like catching someone in a triangle, you know, that's choking them with their own arm and their own neck and you catching a figure four over that shoulder or over that arm and neck, like understanding like what am I doing here? I'm not just copying moves and doing them. Like if you understand the concepts of Jiu Jitsu and these techniques, then you'll move forward ahead much faster. Man, if there's any advice I can give uh, a blue, blue belt, especially a white belt, someone starting out, uh, I, you know, in a nutshell, it's just, just keep at it. Just keep at it. I know that sounds trivial, uh, just like people saying uh, practice makes perfect or just uh, don't give up kind of thing but really because the, the, the statistics really show that when someone reaches blue belt man woman young or old more often than not they either they quit or they just they get weeded out not to say that these people are bad some come back after maybe a year or two once they realize they love jiu-jitsu but some just and I think, unfortunately, that has a lot to do with ego. A lot of people, especially the guys, especially before starting jiu-jitsu, whether they had any kind of fighting background, if you're the kind of person, and all us guys are guilty of this, if, uh, if you can't leave your ego at the door, if you can't swallow the fact that somebody can get the best of you, especially if it's someone smaller or, you know, um, it's, it's understandable. It's hard to digest. So you really have to make a conscious effort to leave ego at the door, foolish pride, and come here to learn. If you get submitted or dominated, instead of going to a corner and sulking, and ask that guy, hey, what happened there? Where did I make a mistake? What did I do? And again, a lot of people, they don't have it in them to do that. Just keep at it. Come on the mats to learn especially at white and blue belt, that's your sponge, you're a sponge of this, absorb it all, I'll try to apply it, if it fails the first time, don't get discouraged, just keep at it. Um, I've had my ups and downs in jiu-jitsu, I've been doing it for almost 13 years, I would, I would be out for six months, the longest time I was out is a year and a half, because life happens. In the beginning it was that, it was feeling I hit a plateau and I can't anymore. But I keep coming back, and now I'm, I, I would like to think I'm wiser now, more mature, to just come here to learn. It's not about the belt, it's not about how many times you tapped out, how many people, just learn. Hey, how's it going? Brian Pangolin in here, over, owner of uh, Sabre Jiu Jitsu, and uh, I'm here to talk today a little bit about um, my advice to new students, especially white belts. Uh, my, any advice that I can give a white belt is train as much as you can as often as you can and with as many people as you can. 
um, especially your team. You have access to a team that you or an academy that you signed up with. Go be part of that and immerse yourself completely. And the the hardest part is when you're new and you're getting started in jiu-jitsu, unless you take some very first uh, intro class or a private lesson, um, you're kind of jumping in right in the middle of things. So your first class might not make much sense or none at all, but it's okay. It will start to make sense. So always think, show up as much as you can and understand what you're being taught if you can. The warm-ups alone will teach you a lot, so try not to skip those. Um, and ask questions. Uh, consider this like a learning environment. You're here to learn, it's just like a classroom, right? But we're just sitting on the mat versus a desk and a chair. So be mindful of that. Think, if I don't speak up and ask, I won't understand. And if you, if you miss that chance during a class setting of, of asking questions, then maybe after class or, 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 or ask your partner as you're drilling. Hey, what was that detail or can you explain this to me? I'm not too sure. And he or she might help you on that or maybe it'll go back to the instructor. But either way, train as much as you can and as often as you can. Um, also, don't bombard your, your mind and, and your thinking when you get started in jiu-jitsu with so much YouTube and, and online type of information because a lot of times those videos are set for maybe students that have already been training for quite a while because how many times I've been in a class and a new student, hey, coach, what is this? Oh, wow, you really went that far into a rabbit hole of YouTube videos and, and you don't understand a lot of these fundamentals. So understand fundamentals first and foremost. If you dive right into all these videos and whatnot, you're going to get lost. And it's a huge, huge maze of techniques that are out there. Uh, just as there's one technique, there's about a million others to follow it just from that one. So, um, again, train as much as you can, learn those fundamentals, take those classes, try everything. Try gi, try no gi, try judo, try uh, wrestling. Try all these levels of grappling that can help your game be well rounded. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Please let me know down below if you have any additional comments or questions for me. We'd love to hear from you all. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helped me out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. On this channel, I come out with daily YouTube content. On Mondays, you can expect videos on my career as a California real estate agent. On Fridays, I come out with jujitsu related videos. And at least once a week, I will do a live stream. And at least once a week, I will do a review on the video or gear that I use. And if you have any real estate questions or need any assistance in the real estate realm, please let me know. You don't even need to be in my area or even in California for that matter. You can be in Idaho, you can be in Maine. Shoot, you can be across the border in Canada, in South America, or even the UK. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I will do my best to help you. Or if I can't help you, I can connect you to a person that will be able to. If you want to catch another one of my videos, there's a video right here and there's a video right here. See you all tomorrow.